Today, let me tell you about the different types of love found in the Bible. David and Jonathan were great friends. Jonathan's father, King Saul, tried to kill David many times. But Jonathan helped David escape each time. There were many instances where they encountered hardships together. Yet, until the death of Jonathan, in a battle, they were bound together in close friendship. This is friendship love. What about Jacob and Rachel? Do you know when Jacob fell in love with Rachel and asked for her hand in marriage, his uncle made him work for 14 years? 14 years, really. If it was anyone else, he would have given up on her and left. But Jacob loved her so much that he waited for her for 14 long years. This is romantic love. After the death of Naomi's husband and her two sons, she urged her daughters-in-law to return to their families. While one of her daughters-in-law left, the other one, Ruth, refused to leave and said, Don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God, my God. Where you die, I will die. And there I will be buried. May the Lord deal with me, be it ever so severely, if even death separates you and me. This is sacrificial love. You may have heard that God is love, and indeed He is love. The love of God for humanity caused Him to send His Son, Jesus Christ, to lay down His life on the cross and save every person who believes in Him from the clutches of sin, even though we are undeserving of His immeasurable love. This type of selfless and perfect love is called agape love. So wrapping all up, what does this Valentine's Day mean to you? Are you still looking for love from all sides? Remember, there is no greater love than the sacrifice of one's life for another.